Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome to Dishonored 2. I've been playing this game over the last few weeks. Uh, I've completed it twice already, and uh, I'm still missing about three trophies, and one of which is a complete playthrough trophy, and I thought, why not make this into a little bit of a mini-series. I'm gonna play this really, really aggressively, really, really quickly, but still show you every major story beat in the game. The trophy I'm still missing is the uh, blood and steel, the, the flesh and steel uh, trophy, which means I need to complete the entire game without using magical powers, so I don't get the magical powers at the beginning of the game. So that's why this series is called A Bloody Quick Way Through Dishonored 2. So uh, let's not waste too much time, let's head into the campaign, pick new game, and just make, as you can see, my third campaign slot. Here we go. And let's put it on medium. So if you know nothing about the Dishonored, um, 15 years ago the Empress Jessamine Caldwin was murdered by a bunch of uh, assassins and her bodyguard slash lover Corvo Atana, the main character of Dishonored 1, was uh, framed for said murder. And the entire game was trying to get uh, the, the people actually behind the murder to justice and uh, getting her daughter, Jasmine's daughter, Emily, and also Corvo's daughter, uh, back on the throne and rescue her from her captors. But now we're 15 years later and, um, well, Emily is a grown woman and her father is a bit more grizzled. And uh, yeah, we're, this, this day marks the 15 year anniversary of her death. Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. So in this game you actually have the option to choose to play as Emily or as Corvo. I'm gonna play as Emily and I'm gonna play her as a bit of a murderous psychopath. Um, and that sounded quite about right, so she wanted to execute everybody around her. But, here we go. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring, there, you're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. So here we go, a bit of a strange celebration of the death of uh, well, All hail her the previous Emily Empress. Baldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Loyal subjects, he kind of sounds a bit like uh, Jacques. Every year I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No. Someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. There we go, a bit of quipping with her father right before we sit on this very, very fancy throne. Looks looks right. Very, very comfy. Though it lacks a bit of neck support. Your Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor. The Duke of Circonos. Ramsay says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. Grace, Luca 
Isabel, Duke of Sirkonos. So right now we're in Dunwall, so Sirkonos is a, a, a different uh, area of this world. Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. And there we have a, a first Your bit Imperial of contention. Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sirkonos offers condolences on this sorrowful day, and gifts to remind you of our nation. The rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks. For now, I give you the greatest gift of all. Family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin. Your rightful empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister. My dearest... And there we have the starting point of the story. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah! First of her name. So there we go, a proper coup. Her father for the crown killer murder. What? And there we go, Corvo using his magical powers and stabbing Delilah through the heart. Ouch. But she looks uh, kind of, well, immortal. And there she uh, took away Corvo's magical powers. And now it's uh, up to us to make a decision. Of course, as I said, we're gonna play as Emily in this playthrough. So you can choose to play either as Emily or as Corvo. But today we'll start the uh, playthrough as Emily. There we go. Yep. So it's either then Corvo or Emily who changes in a marble statue. It's I kind of feel like this makes more sense. That the Lila wants to take out the biggest threat of the two. And not the other way around. But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, and I'll bring her to cold prison. So Ramsey is the guy that just booted us in the face. The Lila is the new uh well, Empress, and then the Duke who came uh, in with the Lila is Duke Luca Abel, the Duke of Sirkonos, a different country. And there we go. We're getting a dragged into a separate room. Lady Emily, what happened? And of course, be all Captain, Mayhew. Captain Mayhew is on our side, but she uh, loses her life in the process. What kind of sword folds in half? And of course, he leaves that there for us to pick up in a minute. Because he's a bit of a doofus. Ramsey is probably one of the least worked out characters, because it's your first target of the game. Since he's still in the castle and he's the one who locks you up. There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good sized island. And again, he's for some reason spouting uh, exposition in our face. And he wants to enter our secret safe room, but of course that gives us a hint of what we want to do, because we just want to kill his ass, or just take him out any other way, and uh, get the signet ring back and use the safe room what to happened? escape. Alexei, the throne room. Father. So first up, we're gonna use Nothing the... Alone. I need to get out of here. I'm not going to spoil anything, but of course I know the entire layout of uh, most of the areas in the game, so we're just going to head outside, and it feels like then, yeah, I took the wrong window, obviously, I took the wrong window. So there we go, open that up, open that up, and 
crawl through. So I'm not going to spoil anything story-wise, but I'm going to go through the areas rather quickly. The story isn't that expansive that you won't get the gist of it while we're going along. So let's talk to Mayhew, who apparently is still alive with a stab wound through the heart. He's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the Royal Protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. And Alexi. goodbye, Alexi. I'm sorry. Goodbye. So the first real casualty of the game. Let's uh, get into sneaky sneaky mode and start by... These bastards are working with getting that key. And let's just stab this guy in the face. So I'm going to start murdering. I'm not going to do a non lethal place where I did that before. And I think it's just going to be more fun to do it like this. There we go. So I think that's one of the two. I don't think there's one up here. No. So we could do aerial takedowns, etc. But I think there's nobody here. Uh, so let's get into the throne room. It's all Someone sneaky, sneaky like. We have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I've searched the royal chambers, assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. And there it gives Look you the hint that you can uh, lock him in the safe room as a non lethal way of taking him out. Changing. So, Ramsay takes his leave. Ramsay's family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man. And then these guards the go their own How separate way. That's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsay is too so dangerous. There's one to guard over there, way. one guard over there. So let's just stab this guy in the face. And just get this guy's head off as well. So that leaves just Ramsey, who didn't notice a thing apparently and is just walking away. But uh, hey Ramsey, buddy, 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 come over here. I'm just gonna, just gonna slowly pierce my blade through your heart. There we go, goodbye. Mortimer Ramsey down, and that's our first target Goodbye, assassinated. There we go, the rim. Goodbye, you entitled piece of shit. My hand again. So uh, the voice dialogue also changes depending on your actions. So now she starts sounding a bit more evil uh, because of the, the actions that we took. So we killed Ramsey. That means we can just go back over here next to the fireplace, put the ring in. Anton Sokolov made this And open up the safe room. I feel like the, the, the non-lethal option is to lock him up, but he dies anyway if you lock him up, so not really that much of a difference. There we go, I'm gonna take a few things, cause yeah, I don't can forget. I think my crossbow is around here somewhere as well. Yeah, it's right next to the door, so let's use the gun case, we got the pistol. I feeling I'll need these. Yeah, we're gonna use that plenty. And then the scope. Oh yeah, right, the safe. We can open up the safe and get a bit of money out of that. Won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. But we can get one uh, gold ingot out of that, and that's going to come in nicely when we get a few upgrades. So let's go outside through this door. I should make my way to the docks. So paintings are probably the most uh, valuable items in the game, so every time we come across one of those, why not just take it along with us? Right, I'm not gonna take everything because I've done, uh, in my previous playthrough, I've done every trophy related to the collectibles. God so this is definitely all. not one of those very detailed playthroughs, but uh, we're just gonna go, yeah, murdering around town. And just go quickly through most of the game. And then this is our first attempt at an aerial assassination, if I'm not mistaken. So we can actually just jump on top of this guy and murder his ass. There we go. So again, a bloody quick way through this honor too. Fit for the watch uniform. Indeed. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the scene. Indeed. So we're gonna do this uh, rather quickly. I'm not gonna do most of the areas, but uh, unless we get to a few very valuable things. So we have a painting over here, and then four five one is the code to the safe in here. There we go, 451. We can get his silver and a bit more bullets, but we're actually full up on bullets, so that's not a problem. Is there anything else over here? I don't think so. So let's get cracking. So this guy down, and then we can climb up here and just murder this guy if I'm quickly enough. 
any of you found harboring Emily Caldwin will be fined and, and then to the sides of the area I'm just gonna okay that was a bit too too fast but here we go let's just climb over and just skip all of these guys I think I can actually take on two guys there we go and smack and in the face and this guy's just running away and in the neck okay that was a bit too clumsy but let's just go through here I don't think for some reason these guys will have noticed get away. I should talk to the captain of that ship what am I supposed to do now well I'm just gonna stab his ass she's gonna freak out I think I can just go up here. I think I'm just gonna go across here. And then there's like two guys over there which I can just easily murder. So dropping down. Stabbing. And then stabbing. There we go. And we're at the boat that we needed to be at. So a bit, a bit of a dive. We could go through this entire area stealthily, of course. But uh, there we go. Easy peasy. Lady. You want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. So the ship captain we needed to address. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours. Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south. And I came to warn you. I know, Anton, but Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but... Correction, so I massacred everybody do. in the throne room. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Well, since you're, uh... Yeah, suggesting it. Yes, yes we're ready. I'm ready. And there we go. Four <laughs> first mission done with 15 hostile skills, 6 body detection, and 5 normal detection. So, yeah. We're on the very lethal skill there, and we're a bit... Well, still in stealth, apparently, not in assault. Interesting. We got both of the paintings though, so uh, here we go. So as you might have seen, combat is a bit clunky in this honor, but I think that kind of the flair of it. Feels odd. So we, we, it looks like we're on the ship, but apparently according to Emily, something feels off and the door is blocked. And if we then turn around, there's a giant opening in the ship. This place. Where am I? Something is going uh, haywire here, because we're in a really, really weird place all of a sudden. Closer. Watching. And then, a suspicious doorway. Empress Emily Caldwin. And there we have the outsider. I'm a friend of your father's from the bad old days. So this is the same character that gave uh, Corvo his magical powers I at the beginning of uh, Dishonored 1. I watched your mother die in the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But... Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Well, a murderous psychopath, and there's a dead whale in the background for some reason. This place is weird. Question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. So again, completely different dialogue depending on whether you're Emily or... Um, Corvo, but of course we're gonna do a no powers uh, run, so uh, we're gonna reject the offer. Play without supernatural powers, yes. No. Whatever you're offering, I can make my own way. His face changed suddenly. Another surprise. So be it. And there we go. Leave oh, your stories. cabin complete, They're but true. now we can just go over there. Which is a bit harder since we don't have Blink, which is normally the the first power you get. So normally there's a rune here. But now there's only the heart. Do you remember? 
It's been so long. And you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself. It's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand. And I will guide you when I can. It's a bit of a weird object, the heart. It, uh... It guides you towards runes and um, bone charms, the stuff that you can use to upgrade your magical abilities. Uh, or give you some uh, skills, because the bone charms will be able to use, but not the runes. But for the most part, I feel like the heart is a bit of a weird plot device, because it comes in uh, later in the game as well as something more. But for now, I'm just going to go past a lot of the stuff. Who is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. So, from left to right, we have, uh, well, all the characters that are in the Lila's Conspiracy. So, we have... You know what? I'm not going to spoil this just yet. The only two we know are the Lila and Duke Luca Abel. And the other ones I'm not going to spoil just yet. It's uh, more fun to just go along. So, let's pick those up. And I think we get money instead of runes in this playthrough. So, yeah, she's crating it. We can't do anything with it. And painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age, all in the same year. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Indeed. Just hinting at what's to come. Because yeah, Delilah has set her eyes on a much greater prize than just uh, Dunwall. But back to the boat. When I was 10 years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out. But I'm not going to stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka's the southernmost port in the Empire. Once proud, but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirkonan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The Bloodflies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm going to get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. So again, something she wouldn't say if we were a bit nicer to her fellow man instead of stabbing them through the neck every five seconds. But on the dreadful whale for real right now, I'm not going to do any of the collectible stuff. Um, so we're not going to even do some reading. Just get the crossbow from the wall. Thank you very much. And let's have a little chat with the captain of the boat. So Megan Foster. I do like Megan Foster as a character. She's really, really, really nicely designed and uh, thought out. Um, must be cursed. And a bit, uh, she's full of history, even in her visual design, so she's missing an eye and an arm. So uh, she has been through a lot. But let's start the briefing with Megan Foster. All right, you've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide. 
But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. So there we go, our first mission. First mission is to, uh, well, have a little chat with Dr. Hypatia at the Adamaya Institute because the uh, scientist Sokolov, who was aboard this ship, has been, uh, well, abducted by the Crown Killer. And uh, Megan tried to follow as much as she could, but she lost the trail at Adamaya Institute itself. So let's head up top and use the skiff to get to. Uh, to land, because uh, look at that. We're at the lovely, lovely South. Karnaka. My father's birthplace. There we go. So there's a few interesting things here. So um, as you can see, that right there is Adamaya Institute. The building with the very diagonal angles over there is the uh, Palace of the Duke. And now we have a few other areas that will eventually come across. Over there is the Dust District which we'll, uh, well, pay a visit to as well. There's a few more areas, I don't think you can really point those out. So uh, yeah, let's head on board the skiff and uh, let's get going with the quick part of this playthrough, right? As I said, this is gonna be a quick and bloody way through Dishonored 2, so uh, let's continue dogs. doing that. So since Emily is a pretty uh, important and I famous person, she just covers her face with a the little mask. There. Go inland and use the carriage station. There we go. So we need to. The first area we'll go to is this little town at the harbor. spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke But we need to head over there on the rail. He started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head. So there we go. I know this first part is a bit uh, exposition heavy, but um, next up we'll be having a, ourselves a proper mission where we can go through the area and start uh, being a bit more stealthily and more strategically. Indeed. There we go. So eventually, we're gonna have to go to the station, then take the rail over there, all the way up to Adamaya Institute. And in the That's back of Adamaya Institute, sense. there's a watchtower we need to disable after we, uh, well, talk to Dr. Hypatia and uh, know the whereabouts Welcome of the crowd killer. Stranger. But before that, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Um, I'm trying this out just to see what I can do with, uh, well, in, in case of a new series, I'm gonna. I think I'm going to do this completely as a series, but uh, please let me know what you think of it, because uh, I'm just looking for new things to do on the channel after we're done with God of War, um, since I think at the point of release of this episode, God of War will already be done on the channel as well. So uh, I'm also streaming God of War on New Game Plus on the Give Me God of War difficulty, so the highest difficulty, so don't, uh, well, keep your notifications on so you get notified when I start streaming those because it's going to be a bit irregular but I'm going to put out those uh, streams in full as well so uh, that will be that so thank you guys again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of a bloody quick way through this one or two goodbye